Hello everyone, it's Monday Gas Office of Com, which means only one thing, it's Europe Day. Every Monday at Gas Office we have a look at weather for coming week across the continent, and today is no exception. It's going to be a pretty autumnal week in the north and west of Europe uh, this week, particularly around Wednesday, when we're going to be uh, hit in the northwest um, by a, uh, the remains of a tropical storm in the form of a vigorous area of low pressure. So pretty wet autumnal uh, conditions coming up for the north and west of Europe this week. Whether we get on with that, just very quickly to mention the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages at Gas Office. You can have browse widgets and to click through the links, you'll be helping to pay for the website. Thanks so much for doing that. So, starting off with the weather for today, of course, we've got this deep area of low pressure across the UK and Ireland, um, really setting the scene for weather through the can we see all these other little areas of low pressure out in the Atlantic, they'll be with us uh, periodically through this week. Now, in the east of Europe, we've got this ridge up across uh, western parts of Russia, and between the, all this low pressure out in the northwest and the ridge over Russia, we're actually bringing up quite a lot of warm air from the south into the east and the southeast of Europe. We can see this very nicely on the upper air temperatures. It's still a pretty hot scene through the Med. It's particularly warm down across the southeast of Europe and pushing up into eastern uh, parts of uh, Europe as well. Much cooler scene in the northwest, so Ireland, UK, France, Low Countries, Belgium, Holland, uh, into Germany. It is a, a much cooler and much more unsettled scene in those areas. So, lots of dry weather in the east. Uh, the east of Europe getting plenty of dry weather today, as does the southeast. Greece looking very, very nice if you're off for a holiday um, this week down in Greece. I think you're going to do okay. A uh, lot of dry weather through the May generally, actually. A few showers or thunderstorms around Italy and Corsica and Sardinia. But really, it's a dry day across the bulk of the Mediterranean today. Conversely, very unsettled up in the northwest with showers along the spells of rain through Ireland, the night game, particularly England and Wales. Lots of showers across France, also into the Low Countries and into Western Germany as well. Thunderstorms over the Alps. And then a band of quite heavy rain through northern Germany and into Denmark, just pushing up into the south of Norway and Sweden as well. Actually, much of Scandinavia, though, is dry backing into that ridge in the west of Russia. So one of these three the men, a very warm scene, is still in the men with temperatures into the mid to upper 20s Celsius, and particularly warm in the east, the summer goes on in the uh, southeast, so over the Adriatic, we find temperatures in the Balkans, somewhere around 32 or 33, going up into the 90s Fahrenheit, way above average this time of year, and that heat extends up into Poland, very hot scene through Poland, and it generally it's a warm scene in the east of Europe, generally, and down into Greece also. Much, much cooler though in the northwest. Temperatures uh, for England, for instance, just 17 or 18 degrees. France, 17 or 18 degrees away from the south of France. Central western Germany, barely going up to 20 degrees. Now, this is that uh, vigorous area of low pressure I was talking about at the start of the uh, forecast uh, for the middle part of the week. This uh, has the remains of tropical tropical storm Henri uh, with it. That's going to be pushing northwards into many western parts of Europe through the course of the middle part of the week. Again, these southerly winds continue through eastern parts of Europe, bringing that hot air up out of North Africa. So it really is a very hot scene through much of the uh, south and east of the Med uh, at the end of the week. Temperatures way above average um, and going up into the Balkans and eastern parts of Europe as well. Germany is going to be from sort of eastern Germany and Poland uh, eastwards that you uh, get the heat. Tea running to Russia when it turns uh, cooler. Cooler uh, for Scandinavia and of course with this area of low pressure it's going to be quite cool in the west of Europe. We are actually bringing up some quite humid air with this area of low pressure because it's the remains of a tropical storm. Um, but with all the wet weather and the strong winds that are going to be churning around that low pressure, it isn't going to feel particularly uh, warm. So lots of dry weather still in the east as it goes through to the middle part of the week. The east of Europe getting loads of dry weather. Again, it's from Poland eastwards. Going to get hot, dry, sunny conditions into the middle part of the week and going down into Greece, Turkey as well. Much of the Mediterranean looking dry. Until we come to Spain, we find a band of rain coming through. That rain ties in with the low pressure that's in the northwest. So France, what's very wet on Wednesday. Could be some torrential rain or thunderstorms around that extends northwards into particularly England and Wales, but it could go further north into Scotland and Ireland as well. Um, going over the Channel in towards Belgium and Holland, I think get lots of heavy rain. Thunderstorms that will extend into west of Germany as well, possibly also to Denmark. Scandinavia, a few showers up there. 
heat again is in the East Europe with temperatures going up to 33, 34, 35 degrees, well into the 90s Fahrenheit, whilst many eastern and southeastern parts of Europe. Conversely, it's a much cooler scene in the northwest, albeit it'll be quite humid, but with all of that torrential rain around, um, temperatures really are going to be very suppressed, just pegged back into mid teens. And that is, uh, your eyes aren't seeing you, that is just 11 Celsius being predicted across Wales um, on Wednesday afternoon. Moving through into the end of the week, signs that things are beginning to break a bit in the east. Still very hot scene, but pressure could be weakening. Maybe the threat of some showers coming through. But the unsettling conditions still in the northwest of Europe with this area of low pressure moving to Scandinavia. Starting to pull down really quite cool northerly winds around that low pressure. And a bit of a ridge starting to build in towards France and Spain could just start to settle things down there. So the heat is still on in the east, but it is gradually being pushed further east. was going more towards the Black Sea probably as we get through to the end of the week with cooler air digging in from the northwest heading into Germany. Also signs that western parts of Poland could be starting to cool down by Friday and it's still a cool scene over Scandinavia and the UK and Ireland and down to France particularly as well. Uh, the rain is easing off some heavy torrential rain across Scandinavia um, particularly around Finland on Friday. That's from all the rain that's across Western Europe uh, through the middle part of the week. It's up across North Scandinavia by Friday. Elsewhere it's just a case of sunshine and showers. Typical conditions really uh, through uh, central parts of England down into France and with Germany uh, and the low countries and Denmark uh, as well. Dry conditions with that ridge across Spain and Portugal. Yeah, mainly dry through the Mediterranean. You're going to have a really good week this week. If you're off for a late summer, early autumn holiday anywhere in the mail, I think you're going to do really well. It's going to be warm, it's going to be sunny. Certainly we'd have had worse weeks than this uh, through the middle part of September down in the Med. And of course still very dry in the southeast of Europe as well. That heat is still there in the southeast, particularly focused around the Balkans with temperatures possibly something like Croatia going to 35 or 36 degrees, way above average into the mid-90s Fahrenheit. But you get the idea it is being pushed further and further east with time. And for the north and west of Europe, it is a proper autumnal uh, scene. Finally, moving through to next weekend, a bit of a way off, but we're building a bit of a ridge into the west of Europe, so maybe settling things down, although low pressure is still not far from Scotland and Ireland. Um, Trying to build a bit of a ridge over Scandinavia, that's within pretty cool air. And overall, it is cooling down in the east, I think, by next weekend. Those upper air temperatures show the heat really, really getting restricted towards Greece, Turkey and the Black Sea, with most parts of Europe actually turning quite cool, uh, or staying quite cool. Um, although it is worn up a little bit down across Spain and Portugal. Uh, heavy showers and thunderstorms ending the heat wave in the southeast of Europe, so we could some torrential storms around the Adriatic coast and going into the Balkans, possibly a few going down in towards Greece even. Uh, by next weekend. That is the divine line between the heat that's being forced towards the Black Sea and uh, this cooler air coming in from the north and west. Um, still showery through central northern parts of Europe, mainly dry through France, Spain and Portugal and some showers along the spells of rain for the UK and Ireland. Temperatures show that heat is dying in the east and the southeast of Europe. Maybe this is the final end of what's been a really hot summer across many parts of Europe. It could be finally going uh, with that heat straining away uh, from the southeast of Europe by next weekend. Most parts of Europe by next weekend are down in sort of the mid to upper teens Celsius, although it may be warming up across central parts of Spain, temperatures going back to 30 degrees there. So, in summary, uh, well, we're going to see a very unsettled week in the north and west of Europe with showers and longer spells of rain, quite windy at two with gales at times, and really quite dismal temperatures throughout much of the week through many central northern west parts of Europe. The heat will be in the east and the southeast. Proper hot uh, week in the southeast of Europe and through much of the Mediterranean as well. Until next weekend, when I think we probably get the final end to what has been a hot summer. Famous last words, it could get hot again, of course, but probably this is going to be the end of the heat by next weekend. We should wait and see. That's it for now. Have a great week. Bye for now.